You're wrapping your feather for the first time and you're still learning. It looks awesome, but then you get right where that body line cuts and you start getting wrinkle city. What do you do? We're gonna find out today on today's Wrap Wednesday. So in today's video, I want to kind of cover about how to handle wrinkles. I understand when I'm actually gonna be wrapping this, you're gonna glass it a little bit more, you're gonna stretch it more so that there's less tension here. For demonstration, I have it set up like this. Obviously it's not a full car, but why do you have wrinkles here? What that means is the material needs to stretch across because there's a body line. If you look at the Model 3 right here, there's a cut right here that goes down and it cuts real deep and aggressive, and that's what's causing all that material is bunching up. The first, I guess like instinct is to just rip it off and then do it again. However, you're just so close. So I'm gonna show you what you would do with the squeegee when you get to this position. A lot of people tend to go like straight down when they're first learning or a lot 90. The most common one is gonna be the 45. But when you get to this, don't do this because what's gonna happen is you're gonna be creating fingers and it's gonna be permanent creases. Or don't do this and you create a massive crease right here. If I were to actually do this right, what I would have done is really stretch it across this body line. And then what you can do is stretch it from here. And then once you have this anchored, you will pull it across so that you see how there's no fingers like that. That's what you would kind of do as far as getting it prepped. But again, this technique is when you get to the end, um, a lot of times it happens towards the end of the, the door when you're doing it and you kind of go down all the way and you'll see some of that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and squeegee this down and purposely, and then we'll try doing this. When you're doing this, you're not like pulling hard, you're just kind of guiding it. So again, when you do this, do almost like, it's about what, 10 degree or so? Five, 10 degree and just go slowly. That's really the key is to just kind of go slowly side to side and you're kind of like knifing, look at that. You're just knifing this in. Instead of going, you are not going down, that's really what you want to avoid. You're going side to side while you're holding that. All right, and then if you need to heat, you can heat. You can always heat. And it gets harder and harder as you get towards the end. That's kind of what it meant about this really works well when you're kind of towards the end. All right, let's keep doing this. Look at that. Great. So I'm just going to, this is not a great knife. And this is where you would want to heat some. And I would be using like a wrap glove or something like that to do this part if you were going over the edge. And when you do this part, same thing. Go really slow. Do not, do not go fast on this because you're going to get wrinkles right in the edge and you do not want that. So once you get to the edge, you see how I'm going little by little as well, especially because we have this wrinkles all across. And I would have less excess than that, but just for demo, I'm going to continue and then just go little by little. And this is very, very similar to like when you're doing PPF. Because I went really, really slowly, first of all, there's no wrinkles that appear right here, but the, even in the inside, there's no wrinkles. Why does that matter? It's for longevity, it'll last longer and look better in the long run. So hopefully that helped in getting rid of some wrinkles today. Please click on that subscribe button. We're coming out with a lot of new tips for you guys in wrapping, PPF, and ceramic coating. So let us know in the comments below if you have any questions. We'll see you next Wednesday.